We are now taking a look at the major sutures of the skull, of which there are four, and all of them are visible on this color-coded skull to start with to make it easy. Uh, we have a coronal suture, which connects the frontal bone with the two parietal bones. Let me get the camera up there. There, we go. there is a sagittal suture that connects the two parietal bones. In the back of the skull, hooking the occipital bone to the two parietal bones is the lambdoidal suture, which is here, lambdoidal suture across the back. And then on the side, uh, connecting the temporal bone to the parietal bone on each side is a squamosal suture here. So you can see the squamosal suture there. Um, in an actual skull, the squamosal suture uh, does not look like this. Uh, in the adult, at least, you'll notice that on this skull, it's pretty much faded away. We see a small piece of it perhaps here coming up, and then a little bit here coming up, but then it fades away. What happens is those two bones are, are pretty thin where they meet, and the uh, temporal bone is more like a, a blade, almost like a hand axe, and it sort of smooths over the top of the parietal bone, and the suture gets lost. Uh, it's called a synostasis. Um, and so those, those sutures may not be visible in the adult skull. In adolescents and, and children, it will be visible. Um, on the exams, you may also see these on our budget skulls. Uh, notice here we can see, again, the coronal suture here, the sagittal suture here, looking a little more realistic, the lambdoidal suture in the back, and on the side, we can also see the squamosal suture here at that point. 